Welcome back, dear friends and supporters. Today, I've decided to update my HUD since it's been almost four months without any changes. With this new HUD, I'll be introducing some exciting display enhancements. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Upon reaching the page, proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. In my case, I have chosen the QB default folder to ensure it is loaded first in the server.cfg file. The subsequent step requires a minor adjustment. Simply eliminate the word main from the folder name to guarantee a seamless setup process. Now delete any existing HUD folder you have. In my case, it's the QB HUD folder. Now, open the newly downloaded HUD and access the customize file to make changes. This file allows you to modify various aspects of your HUD. You can start by changing the server name, but keep in mind that only four letters are allowed. Next, you can update the currency icon to match your preferences and decide whether to make the minimap permanent or disable it entirely. You also have the option to customize the colors displayed. For example, if your server name currently uses red as the primary color, but you want it to be blue, you can search for a hex color picker on Google, find the appropriate color, and paste the hex code into the customize file in the server name section. Make sure to check out Zap Hosting, renowned as the top hosting provider for your server needs. They offer a wide variety of products that can be customized to suit your preferences. Don't forget to use my redeem code at checkout to receive a massive 20% discount. You can find the code in the video description. Additionally, there's more exciting news. If we surpass 100 members using Zap through our link, I will host a giveaway for a lifetime Zap server. This is a fantastic opportunity for our community, so make sure not to miss out. Once you restart, the HUD will display the new color. This color customization applies to all icons you see on the display. For example, using the same method, we can change our health icon in blue color. Additionally, this script provides a built-in vehicle speedometer that looks really cool and includes all the car features. You can make further changes in the customize file, particularly on how the stress system works, allowing you to tweak various aspects to suit your preferences. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this guide helpful in customizing your HUD. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm thrilled to announce that Coden has surpassed 1,200 active members, gaining over 200 new members in just under five days. Our community of developers is growing rapidly, fueled by new partnerships and a shared passion for innovation. I encourage you to join our vibrant community of 5M developers, which offers numerous benefits. Our dedicated staff manage support tickets efficiently, and all my video content, complete with download links, is first released in our Discord, accompanied by a notification system. Additionally, members can share free original scripts for community use. We also feature dedicated channels for general discussions, QB Core, and ESX support. Our aim is to provide comprehensive, free support and assist everyone in the community. Join us today and make a difference. Much love from the Coden team.